What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is sponsored by Dr. Phone. We're taking a look at their awesome toolkit. As you guys can see, it comes with a variety of modules for both iOS and Android. Some of the modules you might find for iOS is data recovery, system recovery, data backups and restore, a screen recorder, which is what we'll be taking a look at today, private data er eraser, and then of course, WhatsApp transfers, line data transfers, cake data transfers, and even fiber data transfers, which is awesome because those applications do lose their data once you get rid of the app itself. As for Android, which is also something we're going to be focusing on today, you get yourself data recovery, data extraction, SIM unlock, root, and of course, lock screen re removal. Then of course, there's also data eraser, data backup, and restore, and finally, once again, the screen recorder. So the toolkit itself looks something like this, and as you guys can see, here are all your different options. They all come with a free trial, so you can try them out and know that they're legit and actually work. But for now, I actually have the full version of the screen recorder, which allows you to cast and record your phone uh, directly from your PC. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and this cool little thing will pop up. Alright, so using this is very simple. Simply take your device and of course go and connect it to your PC. Alright, so I did that and then follow the instructions that appear on this cool little virtual phone. So of course now I have to jump into settings and we are going to enable USB debugging. Next off it's going to go ahead and connect and we should be able to see our screen in just a few seconds. Alright, so as you guys can see, Screen Recorder can receive all messages on your Android phone promptly. You will no longer miss any important messages. Enable this service on the device to activate it. So of course, I'm going to go and activate this cool little thing. This basically means that I guess you get your notifications on this cool little virtual phone right here. Alright, so I'm going to go and enable it, but notice that I'm enabling this on my computer rather than having to do anything on my phone itself. How awesome is that? So after you do this, yes, you can still continue to use your phone. However, the best way to do things is simply to use your phone on your computer right here. One of the coolest things about this is that there is absolutely no lag or latency between the two devices. So that is pretty awesome. However, I will point this out. I have a relatively fast computer. I have a... I have the latest Axon 7 with the latest version of Android. I also have a USB Type-C connection between the two, so that may be why the connection is so fast. Now, there are other ways to cast your device onto a computer, some of which use Wi-Fi. But here's the thing, just like I mentioned, it won't be as seamless as this, it won't be as simple, and there will probably be lag. So that's one of the main things that I'm noticing right here. So now I'm going to show off some of the features that come with this as well. So first of all, as you guys can see, you can actually take a screenshot right directly here. So I'm going to click that button and you should be able to save that screenshot directly to your computer. So there you go. There's my screenshot. And then of course, oh, I took two. And so there uh, you can actually rotate the screenshot or you can save it. I'm going to go and save it and you can save it to any single file on your device. So technically speaking, this is pretty awesome since if you needed a screenshot on your computer, you would have to take the screenshot on your device put it into a file manager, connect your phone to your computer itself, and then of course go and find the screenshot somewhere in all those files. However, now you just take the screenshot on your computer and you are set to go. Another feature is to transfer files. This is very awesome. There are other applications out there like AirDroid that allow you to do this, but they're not as fast. I noticed that when you transfer files, they're almost instantaneous, and so I'm going to go and click it. You simply drag and drop any file you want directly to your device, and it will transfer to the device. How awesome is that? Now another feature I want to talk about is of course the full screen feature. Now when exactly would you use this? Well say you have a really small phone but you and your friends are trying to watch movies or you're trying to show them pictures or a funny Twitter comment, something of that sorts, and you have a computer lying around that's attached to a massive 55 inch TV. Well there you go, connect your laptop to the TV and then of course you can cast your device directly to the TV itself, well the laptop screen that will eventually be the TV itself. So it's a pretty awesome way to go ahead and cast your entire device live onto a much bigger screen. Finally, there is the Android Recorder option, and this allows you to screen record directly from your PC. So I just simply click this, authorization of device is required to continue, got it, and just like that, it will say start now, we're going to click that, start recording, 
and just like that my device is recording so now everything I'm doing on here is recording and this is a pretty fast and easy way to go get screen captures of your device normally you would have to download some type of screen recording software some of the time you would actually have to root your device and then you'd have to transfer that to your computer and share it to wherever you need to share so there you go I'm simply gonna click this and all of this is being recorded that was a nice solid 30 seconds so now I'm gonna end that recording and it's gonna finalize the video and I should be able to save it directly to my device so this is where it is saved currently now of course from here I could post these screenshots to YouTube or if I don't like them I could go ahead and delete them so now we're gonna jump into the last and final thing right here and this is our settings so of course we can change whether we receive notifications from our devices on here the display and brightness whether it's on battery saving mode and then of course I believe battery saving mode actually just turns off the screen or dims the screen on your device you can also change quality transfer files auto install APKs um, your recording settings so where of course your recordings are being saved and finally you can give them some feedback so as you guys can see there are a ton of features in this awesome application and it is one of many applications that are actually built into this application but I have to say everything is super seamless when it comes to the screen recorder um, everything works it has a ton of features you can record your screen you can cast your screen you can even transfer files I was not expecting that much but I am really really happy that one cool little application can do all that because let's be real traditionally speaking you would have to download four or five different applications on your Android device just to do all the things this one app can do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to check out Dr. Phone. The link is below. It would help me out. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.